in the banks, in the boardrooms, in the shareholders' meetings. What is politics really and truly? Mm. It's the management of human affairs, nothing more, nothing less. And in the private and public sector, <laughs> politics every day. Mm. How you are going to take over the board seat yes. of somebody, how you want to see the back of the AGM <laughs> so that you can become the next AGM, <laughs> how clusters of people are thinking in one company, yes. even in 60 minutes with Angela, yes. how some cameramen are thinking that, well, look, we better stay with this person than with that person yes. because this, that's politics. Mm. It's interest and protection and the actualization of aspirations. But on a serious note, the things that I talk about yes. are not original to me. Once we just looked across board, you will see that there are the missing elements. Let's go back to the governor's forum issue. And adults were not uncomfortable or indeed ashamed to continue to argue that 16 votes were superior to 19 votes. <laughs> for me, I think that in the sense, it was a question of values. I think for me, the sense was, okay, look, guys, we've lost this one. We yeah. can win another one. So, it's if you don't win. Is my way or the highway? Is a question of values. What's your sense of competition? Yes. Where do you draw the line? Mm. Must you have your way? Is there a point where you will say, hey, this offends my values. Yes. I can't lie. I can't stand logic upside down. Mm. Those are the issues I'm talking about. There's nothing absolutely wrong in seeking to change the leadership of an organization. But when... The rules of the game have been manifest. And you vote and you lose. The honorable thing to say is, whoever sent you is to go and meet the person and say, look, sir, we lost. We will win another game. You know, people can say in the Premier League in football mm. that, okay, because it's their home ground, they are not going to agree. Teams have lost games at home by bad decisions. And they have moved on because they know there's a next game. And you also see that in the way that elections are conducted, because the electoral umpire clearly disenfranchises a party in his stronghold and says you should go to court. There are issues of values. Mm. So people have debated and argued about independence. There's really nothing independent in this if the holder of the office is not independent at heart. Mm. You know, we had all sorts of debates and I said, look, listen, at the end of the day, it's the devil and the deep blue sea. Mm. Once you have been appointed, you cannot be removed without a process that involves the National Assembly. That process of the National Assembly is the process of the people because the people in the National Assembly are representing the people of Nigeria. Nigeria yes. So what more independence do you want? So go and do your job by the principles of what is right. Now, again, we are having debates and discussions about the definition of what is right is now going in two different directions. So some people are telling us that, oh, you see, things that have not been done have been, and they are showing us photographs of roads that everybody knows has not been done. So where is the propriety of even the media organizations that are carrying those messages it's knowing nice. that they are false? Where is the regulatory role? Because I believe that even in advertising, there are certain minimum mm. standards mm. that is this thing true? Is it false? Yes. And so on and so forth. Look, they speak to values, nothing more. Mm. I'm not saying anything new. And when things go wrong, then we now start pointing hand. Is Christian, is Muslim, is uh, ethnic, is not ethnic. Wrong is wrong. So if somebody has done something to you as a public officer or as a private person, don't ventilate that complaint by the color of the dress that that person is wearing. Mm -hmm. Ventilate it and say, look, he punched me. Don't say he punched me because he didn't like my weight. Don't say he punched me because he didn't like my color. All of those are not in the books. What is in the book is that you must not be punched. That person has no right to assault you. So then you can seek remedy. And if somebody has done something that is wrong, people shouldn't then come out and say, it's our daughter, it's our son. And defend And him. defend what is wrong. What that person is entitled to is a fair trial and a right to be represented by a lawyer of his or her choice. Mm. And to see that the process is fair that gives him or her a trial. Once we get back to all of those things, our lives will be better. I am so sure. You see, oftentimes, all of the things that stand in our way, there will be no perfect constitution. There will be no perfect law. Because all of the constitutions and all of the laws are made by human beings. Yes. And therefore, they are limited within context and space and time. Yeah. But when, ultimately, you are pursuing an objective, yes. something tells you at a point that, 
Listen. This isn't right. This isn't right. So even if you feel that this cameraman has just stepped over the line, but you know that it's not right mm. to take it out on his child. Something must pull you back mm. and say, okay, let the man escape justice instead of inflicting undeserving pain on a very innocent child. Yeah. Those are the values that must come back. So, and then you control your ego instead of your ego controlling Maybe, you. Yes. And that's why I said, if the people are bad, the best laws will not work. And I made the point in my speech at the leadership award yes. that Nigeria has not changed. Its human resource has not diminished. Its natural resource is even beginning to reveal itself more. What has changed are the people, the values. And so we must go back to those values. So when we go back to those values, corruption will become corruption. It won't be a definition of whether stealing is oh, corruption no. or stealing is not corruption. Mm -hmm. It won't be a definition of whether if somebody steals money, another country will know. Corruption will just be corruption. And we know that it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you see, you begin to see electricity because that's why we can't have fuel. Yes. That's why we don't have electricity. That's why there's poverty. Mm -hmm. That's why there's unemployment. You see, there is no system that doesn't lose money. But the systems react and say, this person must stand trial. The public must hang somebody. When we had the political expenses scandal, that's what they call it. It was yes. corruption in the UK parliament. Yes. Yes. They were using public money to buy all sorts of things for themselves. The public hung the speaker. They had to. Somebody went down. Somebody must it. go down. Yes. That's the way to say. So, and all of what we have had, who has gone down? From 2.3 trillion unappropriated fuel expense to all of the comedies we saw on TV and hats mm -hmm. beginning to grow tall and short to vehicles 40 or 20, 20. billion dollars to pension funds nobody has gone down so now you've done 2700 days in office going forward are your priorities changing what is the plan now is, are you rounding up you've been accused of not doing enough in this second term people so thought, want to do enough. people thought <laughs> people thought you slowed down your pace in your first term i want to do enough <laughs> but there will never be enough for me it's about the next team now how can i make it easier and that's how it must be do you have an idea of who will be heading your next team here no, in I lagos don't. i don't but you know they, what they say, a leader is only successful if he can groom his successor. Yes, it depends on how you interpret all of those things. We, have, we, we, are, we are experts at idioms. <laughs> on one hand, we accuse our leaders of imposing. On the other hand, we say groom, successor. <laughs> and the question is, are we really Democrats at heart and genuinely? I'm happy to say that of all the people who have indicated interest in succeeding me from our party. Yes. Uh, I'm happy to note that almost all of them, I think, without exception, have yes. served in government of legal state or at one level or the other. And are capable. Uh, and I've met with them, as was reported. Yes. And they're on top of all of the issues. And I'm happy. It comforts me that any one of them will do the job. So you don't have you're not leaning in any direction you know whichever way if this is a you democracy have, yes i think this must be a people's choice that's what it's all about mm. who do the people of lagos want next what do they want what are the qualities you think the next governor should have i can't legislate it but i know that this is a very big undertaking. It's the fifth largest economy in Africa. It's on an upward swing now, so it's not a place for beginners. It's not a place to experiment. For learners. Mm. So mm. those who want to learn must join the team in a participatory, not in a leadership position. So, but all of the people who have shown interest, from our side at least, have, have the experience. They will know where the key is, one. Mm -hmm. They will know where the ignition is, <laughs> and they will be able to start the car. You think your party will retain this state? I don't think I know. I think that the people of Lagos have seen development and they're going to vote to keep development. And when you look at the comparisons across board, and yes. that's why I made the point when you were talking about one of the PDP governors. Yes. The point is that pound for pound, with yes. fewer resources, each state gets one thirty-sixth of 26%. And the federal government keeps 52%. 
and some of the states you have mentioned yes get derivation of 13 percent on top of that 136 or yes 26, exactly yes. and you see how unequal the fingers are and then some states have five times four times the multiples of their population and yet they deliver so when you look at that yes. what then does the pdp offer in terms of its outstanding achievement to the people of lagos to say this is it you you, you know if you permit me to to speak a little vernacular mm. <laughs> if somebody wants to clothe you yes and he's wearing rags i mean come on <laughs> and then i do i can't let you go without talking about you a lot of people have accosted me saying what next for you will you be going to the senate and i stumbled on this a quote from chief ayo akonde a member of the apc in lagos let me tell you what he says he says, Fashola will make a good president, but if the presidency is zoned to the north in the APC, then he will make a perfect running mate. End of quote. Well, what do you say to that? Opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you will say more than that. Opinion. <laughs> Regarding these speculations now, the former head of state, General Muhammadu Buhari visited you and everyone, news mediums were highlighting that visit. Was that to um, ask you to be his uh, running mate? I think perhaps? The, the event was reported in public and mm. uh, he was to invite me to his declaration mm. of intent. And, yes. uh, you have to understand that uh, for me it was an APC event. Uh, it also showed the support that our party is able to master mm. in a few days mm. and I'm happy I went yes. and um, as much as time permits me I will attend others just as I followed others that I could not attend mm. on, on TV with the very best intentions in the world you can't attend all events yes. and there's some you just follow on TV there's some you read about later mm. and keep a particular eye on what interests you in there so and i think what it has achieved of course it's helped to reassure those who were concerned that mm. the apc was probably not energizing up the polity so yes. i mean there's some activity going on and i would like all of the other candidates even at state level to begin to make those declarations and energize the polity mm. this is the season i has said this you cannot go out so even house of rep states yeah they get get on the road and let's really have for me, campaign should be a season to really yeah get out really there and go do out it. There. For me, this is where you can take your children, this is when you can take your mm. wives, really go and have a ball, listen to thought-provoking speeches, yeah. ideas about development, elevate the issues about about the polity, mm. and uh, let's not do uh, this underground polity. Hide and see. Yeah, I mean we watch yeah. all of the these events. Mm in Europe, in England, and we say it's nice. And yes. then we are reticent to do it. <laughs> this is it. Let all those who are interested throw their hearts in the ring. So are you interested? If I throw my heart in the <laughs> ring, you will know. So that's the only way to know. Throw your heart in the ring if you're interested. Thank you very much, Governor Fatwa, for having me again. Thank you. Always you still didn't you. answer the question. I answered opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for this week well if you missed a part of this interview you can watch it again on our youtube channel that's youtube.com forward slash ted tv 60 youtube.com forward slash ted tv 60 of course you can like 60 minutes with angela on facebook or follow me on twitter angela at 60 minutes and i'm angela j thank you for watching <laughs>